Hey internet, for this video I'm going to show an app that turns your Android phone into a dedicated server. If you have extra Android phones lying around, stick around and finish the video. Even phones with physical damage can have a second life as a server. This video is more of a public service announcement since the app shown is pretty much self-explanatory on how it works. The app is called Servers Ultimate. Download it on the Google Play Store. This app is insane. It pretty much allows you to run almost any server type known to man on your Android device. There's a free and paid version. The paid version has more server types and I think allows you to run multiple servers. Once it's finished installing, open the app. The app stays on in the background once installed so I only recommend installing this on phones that serve no other purpose than just to be your personal server. This app has a ton of options and for anyone with experience setting up servers manually, you'll find this app very easy to use. The free one still has a pretty big list of server types, as you can see here. I think the app developers are adding more server types with each update. So this is really worth having even if just to experiment with. For noobs like myself, I'll start a server with a simple option. A lot of these server types I'm unfamiliar with. I'll just do a web server since that's what most everyone is familiar with. Just press start while on simple mode to start the chosen server type. The two IPs shown is what you enter on the browser to access the web server. The external network is what people outside of your network must enter to access the server. Note to access the web server from a non-local device you need to assign port forwarding with your router to the server Android phone. I'm sure a YouTube search with your model router will give you a video on how to do that. Right now the only computers that can access the server are the ones connected to the same network. So my friend living a mile away would not be able to access this web server since he is not connected to my local area network. With that being said, since I have not enabled port forwarding to my phone, I'm going to enter the Wi-Fi network address to show the web server. Just type it on the browser. There's the server. I guess if I had put an index.html in there, it would load it. Without the home page, you'll just see the file contents of the web server, which you see here. It's basically the files in the phone. Anyways, most of you watching this are probably more familiar with how web servers work more so than I do. I just wanted to show how the app does indeed do what it's supposed to do, which is create servers. Also, before ending the video, just want to add another perfect candidate for making a server are cracked screen and bad IME phones you find on eBay. The price for bad IME and cracked screen phones are usually 75% off what they would have been. As long as the Wi-Fi and touchscreen works, it can be made into a server. You can essentially make an army of servers with these phones that would otherwise be in a landfill. And that's it. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.